Hello, Phil here from Wings of Pegasus and welcome to another analysis video. On the agenda tonight we have Lenny Bro and this is going to be coming from circa 1960. It's going to be in black and white but this is going to be his performance of Bluesette. Now there's a little bit of extemporization at the beginning but then he kicks into Bluesette with the other two guys in the band so it's a trio at about 1 minute 43 somewhere around there. But let's get Lenny up on screen and see how he gets on. just going to jump in here to have a little go through that first section. The first thing to note is the fact that Lenny's right hand, the control that he's got is absolutely insane. The fact that he's blending all of that flamenco style together. He plays country as well and jazz and his main inspiration actually was Chet Atkins and having that kind of person to try and emulate it's obviously setting the bar very high but Lenny absolutely nails all the parts of the performance here and just the speed that he ramped up. Unfortunately, we were looking at his face when he really started to ramp up that speed, but you could hear how controlled it was. What's most impressive is the fact that it's not just one dimensional speed. He really does pay attention to the dynamics of all of his playing. You'll hear little waves just roll in and out in terms of the dynamics that he's throwing in there, playing harder and then softer and really throwing throwing together the piece dynamically. Of course, the left hand as well. What you'll find with Lenny's playing is the fact he does a lot of bar chords, but also playing lead with his little finger, third finger and second finger at the same time. Right at the end of that section, we saw a little passage of hammer-ons and pull-offs, which again, really well controlled, is always gonna be more difficult on a classical guitar, of course, and for people that play acoustic, on acoustic guitar, of course, it's harder. You can see here he's got that thumb pick on, and he's also grown out the nails of that right hand so that's how he's picking those strings and interestingly even though he's picking them with his nails he can still keep real control over that dynamic so we're not always getting a really harsh picking sound he's just ever so slightly lightening up even though it's nail on string he still gets a really cool light sound but let's get back to listening to the rest of the performance
we go. What a great performance that was. Have a little look back through that whole video just to see the amount of bar chords, especially in this bluesette section from 143 onwards, the amount of bar chord shapes that he's holding down. If you do play classical guitar, you'll know that that is an absolute wrist killer, just holding down bar chords, but also the fact that Lenny's throwing in solo notes at the same time as playing those root notes of the chords and the bar chords. And I know that Lenny said himself that he approached playing guitar like the piano, so he maxed out as much technique as he could, and he also said that the way that he plays, a lot of people said was impossible until he just sat down and absolutely practiced the hell out of it to try and get this sound of having those root notes being played at exactly the same time as the lead notes and that's what he gets and that's why he's doing these bar chord shapes is because he's got the full chord that he can play with the thumb and first finger as well and second finger third finger he can jump up into lead notes and it's all happening at the same time and that's why it sounds so impressive and the fact that he's absolutely maxed out the technique on this classical guitar and how about this Lenny actually had a couple of guitars made that were seven string guitars because there were no seven string guitars until Lenny actually made a couple of them and because there weren't seven string guitars he wanted to tune the first string to an A but there weren't any strings that he could get to do that so he used fishing line that was the right gauge and tightened that up to then be an A, an extra A string on his guitar, which is really cool. The fact that it's almost like he's pushed the guitar to its limit and everything that he could do on it and then decided, right, I'm going to add a string and see what else I can get out of this instrument. Even though everyone else is still playing on six, I'm now going to play on seven. The most impressive thing is that he's throwing this all together and it is so technical, but he's then applying dynamics over the top to make it like a journey, make it interesting. This just being played in one dynamical range would be impressive technically. It would just be a marvel to look at and everyone would go, wow, such great technique, barring all the time playing lead notes. But then he's applying that dynamics over the top to every little section. He's really just adding bits in, taking bits away, making the journey so interesting. But there is so much technique going on here that if you analyze it too much, your mind would blow up and your face would melt. So you just got to sit back and listen to the technique and listen to the expression. That's one thing that Lenny has in bucket loads is expression through his playing. And when top players blend expression with technical excellence, you're always going to get something that is going to stand the test of time and be ultimately amazing to watch at any point in the future. It's always going to be looked back on as one of those legendary performances. And this is certainly one of those. What a great video this is to take a look at. The fact that it's so early on, but it is so accomplished. But thank you so much for suggesting this video for me to take a look at in the first place. Uh, keep those suggestions coming in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Ro